This demo will show you how to restrict access from trusted domain users to IPA. When establishing trust, by default, with the default installation, all users from the Active Directory domain can access uh, IPA hosts, as can be seen here in the example with the PuTTY SSH client. This is because, by default, the allow all rule is enabled, which allow all users from all domains access to all IPA hosts. If we disable this rule and enable a more specialized uh, host-based host access control rule, we can restrict access. For example, here we have enabled the SSH access rule, and if we now try to access the IPA host from the Windows host again with PuTTY, we see that the access is denied. This is because in the uh, specialized group, only members of the SSH users groups are allowed to access hosts by SSH. To allow the Active Directory user again to access the IPA host, we have to add them to the SSH users group. To do this, we create a new group to collect all external users, called AD users. this group we add the Active Directory group domain users which typically contains all users of the domain. This needs a few seconds because this group has to be resolved on the Active Directory side. Then we can add this new group to the SSH users group, which effectively means that all groups from the AD users groups, which means all domain users from the domain users groups on Active Directory, should now be able to access the IP hosts again. To update the access credentials, we have to acquire a fresh Kerberos ticket on the Active Directory set, because group and access information are stored in the Kerberos ticket. We just delete the Kerberos ticket on the AD side and start PuTTY again because Active Directory automatically acquires fresh Kerberos tickets. As you can see, now access is granted again.